In this video I will be showing you how to make the highly effective Remjet removal solution using Kodak's recommended formula. To make 1 litre of the solution, add to a beaker 800 millilitres of very hot, or preferably boiling, water. Then add to that 1 gram of sodium hydroxide, After you've added each ingredient, give it a stir. Uh, the sodium hydroxide, when placed in water, produces a bit of heat, so to be safe, uh, give it a stir so it doesn't concentrate too much heat at the bottom of the beaker. It's only a small amount, so uh, it shouldn't be a problem, but just give it a stir to be safe. Then to that, add 100 grams of sodium sulphate. And give it a stir until it all dissolves. Once that's dissolved, add 20 grams of sodium tetraborate decahydrate. And then stir again. So now once all that's dissolved, add enough water to make up one litre. Now once everything's dissolved and mixed, just take a look at the solution and if you notice a precipitate forming, which is calcium from the water supply, then you can add a small amount of sodium hexametophosphate to remove that. Alternatively, you can also just make up the solution using deionized or distilled water. Uh, the sodium hexametophosphate is just um, basically a lime scale remover and that would get rid of any precipitates that form but the water here isn't too hard anyway so it should be fine so now we can test the solution if you place a piece of film in the solution and then give it a rub you'll notice that nothing happens at all it just doesn't come off but then uh, if you were to do the same with just water on its own Nothing happens either, the rain jet doesn't move uh, because it's just like a plasticky substance. But then watch what happens when you place the piece of film in the rain jet remover and then get water on it. Uh, this is what happens. It just comes straight off. Like that. Really, really easily. Uh, I believe this is a piece of uh, Kodak intermediate film. Uh, I've got a piece of 16mm stuff lying here and with this solution the the rem jet just, uh, it just comes off pretty much effortlessly. Uh, just under running water and you can imagine if you're shaking that in a developing tank it's going to come off very very easily leaving very little residue, which it does in my case. Uh, this is a solution that I use and it works brilliantly. You just uh, use the Remjet remover solution before you develop and then you take the film out after you've fixed, after you've done the fix bath you take the film out and then you just give it a gentle rub under running water then whatever small amount of Remjet that's left just comes straight off. So what I'll do um, is just pour this through a filter paper and then store it in a bottle and I'm going to do that, do that actually with all my developing chemicals because they, they have got little bits floating on them which has been making spots in the film. So yeah, um, I was also redoing this video too because there was errors in the previous version uh, but I've definitely checked everything now and it's okay this time. 